Hey everybody, it's Let Your Light Shine. Hey, great action. Yo. <laughs> okay, we're at the Bowers Museum today because we are we are gonna check out Bill Handel for Law Day. If we get to see a lawyer for some free advice, that would be awesome. But we're really here to see Bill Handel. And check out the line of this place. All right, so it's he starts at a nine. We got 10 minutes. So I'm assuming that's what this big line is for. And they'll hopefully open the floodgates and we can all just walk right in, I'm hoping. For the love, that's a long line. Here we go. Um, all right, we have our schedule. Walk in and out, though, if you need to go get some food or something. Okay, so you. he'll be broadcasting live from 9 to 11 in the auditorium area. <laughs> all right, almost time. Right, the line has started. We are going in. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Just saw some KFI guys vlogging, so. <laughs> right, 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 right. I went to this a few years ago. Here you go, guys. Oh, we got one. Thank you, though. We're good to go. All right. You guys all got one? Moving in. Never have. How about you? Yeah, I've been here a few times. I guess we have to go that way. Very pretty, very pretty. Executive, judicial. That's cool. Ah, into the doors. Right there. Do you want to stand in Bill Handel's picture? <laughs> I kind of need my hands. Can you hold this? Hurry up. Ready? Smile. Awesome. Wow, I guess this is it. I, for some reason, I thought it would be outside. I don't know why. You got questions? Ask away, man. Ask away. Wow, this is pretty crazy. I always hear that cunning dental group, that's funny. Right, bathrooms to the right, Bill Handel to the left. Oh yeah, that's it, right there. Right here. Alright, let's check out that piece right here while we're in here. Because I've never been in this museum before. Wow. Really cool. Ah! No, you can't sit there. Those are reserved. <laughs> Come on. Sit way in the front. That's where I want to sit. Uh, it's our uh, live broadcast, and then what we're going to do also, which is different uh, than uh, we do, uh, other than here at Wade, is from the audience. We have a microphone, and we have one of our uh, interns who make no money. Uh, want to break into radio and they're dreaming. And uh, what they'll do is they have a microphone and any questions that you may have, uh, legal questions, I will answer. And the fun part is I get to humiliate you in person. Yay. So you're looking at me while I am uh, making you hopefully feel like an ass and tell you you have absolutely no case. Now we're also taking phone numbers, of course, which we do uh, throughout the show. Cool. Uh, eight hundred five two zero one KFI. Yes, Joan. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. I live in a, I live in a condominium, and uh, each one of the patios has an outdoor uh, connection spigot for for watering in the patio. Ours doesn't, and we have had access to a a common area spigot which now management has capped off and only they can turn on. So we have no water in our patio or ability to get the water. Is there any recourse? Yeah, uh, sure. Well, first, is, of all, you, first of all, you make the demand, of course, of management yeah. and say, hey, we had access to it and you cut it off and it's the only access that we uh, now have that we no longer do. And uh, you make the demand. They're going to say no, tell you to go pound sand, and then you get to go, uh, well, 
uh, you uh, ask them, then you go in front of the board, I think you have to be the procedures. And then what ends up happening, and this is the tough one, is uh, you would win, but you'd have to file a suit, and then the homeowner association itself would defend, even though they really don't have a defense, but uh, the association would hire a lawyer, which means you are paying for the lawyer who is gonna defend against you. Uh, so uh, the easiest way is just beg your way through it. Uh, there's really no other way of doing it. Find out someone who's on the board, run for the board. Uh, that's the easiest way. And uh, why, and, it's, and uh, does the board know that the management company is doing this to you? Yes, they do. In and, fact, they probably are the ones that have uh, been instrumental. In oh, that. good God. Okay, then we go uh, into uh, the next uh, the next level of the law, and this one gets a little bit complicated. Move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Joan. What a pleasure. This is Handle on the Law. I'm Julie Slater, live from the KFI 24 Hour Newsroom. At least 17 sure you want to ask him for a lot of in a nightclub <laughs> in Venezuela. <laughs> the Department of Homeland Security says that you should pay all such bills. You attend a free half day class exactly. and you will learn on how to make all the code strategy that will help you increase success by identifying the high reward opportunities. You may know the Y Online Trading Academy. Just this one alone, 95% student satisfaction rating with over 170 people. Pretty decent turnout so far. Call 877 781 Trade. You call now. Now they'll send you home with a Oh, cool. All right, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Is, it my, is this working? Yeah, there yeah. we go. Yeah. Okay, you can hear me. Okay. So it was just pointed out my Diet Cokes. See those Diet Cokes, those glasses of Diet Coke, those cups? Total breach of contract. Where the ice is melting. Supposed to be cans of Diet Coke <laughs> chilled. And then I'll tell you something else that is absolutely true uh, in terms of the contract, and that is. You know, we, the staff, we feed uh, breakfast and lunch, the lawyers. I mean, you're not going to get any of it, but uh, they get bagels, cream cheese in the morning, and then sandwiches for lunch for the people that are, that are here working. And you've heard me talk about real Jew bagels, yes. right? Several times. So they used to bring, when I insisted on bagels, they used to bring bagels from the supermarket. You know what you call supermarket bagels? Bread. bread. That's what it is. It is bread. So uh, my uh, last contract, and this is not shtick. This is for real. And that is any event where breakfast is included, and that's most of these events that uh, we do publicly, they must have real Jew bagels and must be ascertained to be real Jew bagels. And enough cream cheese to go around, sliced. They have to be sliced. And... Then there's definitions of uh, real Jew bagels. The water bagels, the plain bagels, are really the real Jew bagels. Then you have onion and egg, which are almost. Uh, then you have poppy seed and uh, garlic, which are a level below. Then they have strawberry and jalapeno and, oh, Jesus, that's, that's not real Jew bagels at all. That's on another planet completely. If real Jew bagels are not there, and this is written in my contract, it's a breach, and twenty-five thousand dollars is donated to Katarina's Club. Yay. Oh yeah! Wow! It is absolutely in the contract. So I, I haven't been back there to find out if Even the real puppy Jew likes bagels. Going so you haven't had breakfast yet, have you? So we don't know. Hey, have you been up to uh, the breakfast place? What?
But they don't do really good bagels. Maybe now. But they don't name no from bagels over there. Yeah, it's pita. They do pita. Uh -oh. Uh, oh yeah, lots of hummus. Lots of hummus. Uh, yeah, you have to go hummus. Uh, my brother is going to open up a Mid-Eastern restaurant in West Hollywood. And it was going to be called uh, Hummus for Homos. <laughs> <laughs> It's according to proof. So all it said was, yeah, all it said was that it's uh, over $25,000. Yeah, okay. So after contacting with the insurance company, I was asking them how much are they asking for. The insurance company told me that they're asking for $150,000. It doesn't matter what they're asking for. They can, they can ask for anything. As a matter of fact, it got so ridiculous in terms of what the ask was. Uh, now the lawsuit is, uh, it'll say according to proof is normally the way it works out. When... Uh, when I first started practicing, I had a partner who did personal injury, and the amount of money that was asked for, uh, we would pull out a phone book, and any seven figures that came into the phone book, you know, two seven two four five six seven two point seven two million dollars. That's, that's all it was. So uh, don't even worry about that. And the insurance company, how much insurance do you have? What are the, what are the limits? They have the California limits, the, the what's legal to operate a vehicle. I think it's fifteen thirty. Yeah, all right, that's what they're going to get, fifteen thirty. How badly? The and they, yeah, that's it. That's all they're going to no, get, fifteen. No, they weren't. They weren't injured. It was. Uh, it doesn't matter. Of course they, they were injured. Oh, please! Of course they were injured. One hundred fifty thousand dollars <laughs> worth. They were injured. So it's soft tissue injury. Yeah, I understand. It's all. Well, yeah, I'm surprised that they're not arguing two million dollars. <laughs> well, my question is, why not five hundred thousand? That's correct. Why not? But, but Matter of fact, it used to be five. It used to be five hundred or five million when I did it. Because remember the phone book. If there ever was a an area code that started with five, that's that was five million. Well, we were served a few weeks ago. So my question is, what kind of attorney? I know I have thirty days to respond. What kind of attorney do I need to obtain? You you just turn it over to your insurance company. You, I you did, that's the it. Company, the insurance company told me that they're trying to settle it right now. Yeah, let them. A few people I talked to, because my parents have a lot of assets. A few people I talked to said that you have to uh, get an insurance. You have to no, get an insurance. no, no. You no. What you do, you don't only get an inter attorney if uh, you you feel that uh, your insurance company, the attorney, is really not representing you, representing you, and then you get an attorney. But the problem is, is that under certain circumstances, you will be responsible to pay for that attorney, and you shouldn't. That's what insurance is about. It, not only is it liability insurance, not only do, uh, does it cover you for payment uh, when you're liable, but it also covers an, ins a, uh, an attorney that represents you. So that's, it's, gonna, it's going to settle it's going to settle for 1530. It'll settle for thirty thousand dollars. They'll take it. So a quick question I have is also, um, the attorney, the, the insurance company has to respond to the lawsuit because I sent, yes, the, yes. I sent the lawsuit to the representative and they told me that they're trying to handle it right yeah. now, but if they can't, then they'll pass it on to their legal. That's correct. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's, that's what, that's what yeah, you're covered. That's exactly it. And soft tissue injury, uh, there is, uh, you know, there's a legal name for soft tissue injury, and it's called crap injury. And uh, there also is a term, legitimately, for people who claim huge medical bills and go to the therapists and the chiropractors, and those are called malingerers. And insurance company, I mean, those people are very sophisticated. They've been in a long, long time. So it'll settle out. It's uh, don't worry about it, and it really doesn't matter what assets uh, your your folks have, especially when you're talking about uh, soft tissue injury. Not to worry, okay? Yeah. What? You hung up on me? Adrian, <laughs> <laughs> you, you just hung up. Adrian, you're going to get screwed. Your parents are going to lose everything they have. They might as well go into a dumpster now. All right, phone numbers. Um, coming back. Uh, 800-520-1-KFI, 800-520-1534, and uh, live at the Bowers Museum, uh, where it's Law Day 2018. The end of life option is back you know, on the table just, in California. Just the fourth district Vegas, court of appeals has reinstated the law, allowing uh, terminally ill people to no, end no, their lives. No, the court gave no, opponents of yeah, the law the two weeks sort of to file a petition opposing the yeah. action. A Riverside County judge yeah. declared the law you know, unconstitutional it's, it's last month, saying lawmakers yeah. acted illegally right. in passing the measure during a special session to vote on other issues. Erin Bender, KFI News. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Oh, yeah. This specifically targets the city's trash overhaul. Yeah, that's cute. Up rates for building owners. Lawyer Brian Capodick claims the higher trash fees amount to a tax. Oh, my God. The works, they'll repaint more curbs in Orange County. Meanwhile, who's working to repaint? This just has to be like video games. We're converting to wider system yeah, shaping and has tiny green. reflective glass and beads embedded within the paint. It's house. actually much more visible. Wow. Brighter at night and even brighter in the night. The project will cost the state $5.4 million in OC alone. Monica Wicks, KFI News. Firefighters in the Angeles National Forest have asked people to be careful when camping this summer. Fire Chief Robert Garcia says people are oblivious to burn. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Pokemon. Did you just say something in English? Yes. So it is a common occurrence. Garcia oh, says 90% of fires yes. in the Angeles National wow, Forest are started by people. <laughs> 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 wow, good for you. <laughs> so people should check Pokemon. the National Forest website before you know, camping. It's Traffic 2018. Your help is <laughs> 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 Any other questions? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are you a grandfather yet? Am I a grandfather yet? I am not a grandfather. Are you kidding? First of all, my girls are only going to be 23. It's easy to decide to go solo. The problem is knowing which company to go to. I believe them. Laundry and I finally decided to go solo. We were introduced to Sunlux. That became a business. So it's going to be sharp. Get them some money on AF570. All of it chose Sunlux. And whether you're purchasing or leasing Sunlux, will customize a system for you, including 0% down option. You save money from day one, and then you have the payback period. And at the end of the payback period, you get free energy forever. The more the power going, the quicker the payback. Check the online reviews, five-star ratings everywhere, the industry's best warranty. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say Sunlux, residential, industrial, or commercial. Dial pound <laughs> say Sunlux, go to sunlux.com, CSLB license 100874. Oh, sounds like you too. <laughs> Visit sunlux.com. Just kidding. So Cal weather from KFI mostly cloudy today and tomorrow day, highs in the uh, mid 60s to, to lower 70s and, uh, a little warmer so in the IE. To tonight cloudy lows around 50 to so 60. We've got a 20 percent so chance of rain after midnight, leading and into said, Father's Day second, morning. Man. It's uh, slightly warmer on Monday, and then we'll be local airs live from the KFI Four Newsroom. I'm Julie Sider. Pretty much. We have a free Money Matters Retirement Seminar 1 p.m. today at Embassy Suites in Arcadia or next Saturday in Palos Verdes. Learn how the Money Matters Retirement Strategy can help grow your retirement investments if possible while also helping protect them from the As in, yes, pigs. The animal. Oh, depends what part. Register at MoneyMatters.net. That's MoneyMatters.net. So I guess he likes pigs. Introducing the end DUI, the deauthorizer.
Too many. Too many. <laughs> he brought a bunch of uh, unjustice system. What is the other one? False. Police report. False police report. Yeah. A Mexican court in America. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. That's excellent. Uh, so, you know what? Make sure that we get photos that we can Instagram uh, before we leave because that's fantastic. Okay, so here's what we do. We uh, take questions <clears throat> Excuse me, from the audience, which we... What is that one? <laughs> All right, let me see that. God, I wish this was television. Kelly, Kelly I am innocent as hell. I cannot wait to hear your story. Okay. <laughs> cannot wait. Okay, yes, sir. You have a question. Uh, yeah, my question is, uh, I am looking for a job, and I want to know if there's a legal way to expunge my criminal record. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, that's the only way you can expunge <laughs> your record is do it legally. Uh, felony or misdemeanor? Uh, I have a misdemeanor, but I have one felony, but the felony was expunged. Oh, so all you have is a misdemeanor that's left? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Go for a motion to expunge. How long has it been since you were convicted? Uh, a couple years. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you get popped for? Um, like prowling. Prowling? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell gets arrested for prowling? Like stalking? Yeah, kind of. Kind yeah, of? I guess stalking, yeah. <laughs> the answer is yes, you can expunge. The two years, that's sort of up in the air. I'd feel better if it were five years or longer. What was the felony that was expunged? Because those are almost impossible to expunge. Uh, possession of narcotics. Oh, okay. Uh, I went through a program. Guys. Okay, and uh, when you talk about possession, uh, what drug? Vicodin. Wow. And how much? 60 pills. You know, that's not the end of the world. Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, surprised that, uh, I mean, I have 60, pick, uh, 60 pills of Vicodin at home. No, I don't. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, uh, go to talk to one of our criminal lawyers out there. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yes, we have a uh, question. Let's go for it. Um, okay, um, well, um, my principal didn't, well, um, this happened two years ago, so I don't know if this is still a I don't okay, know. No, okay. Let's, let's ask the question. So basically, um, these basically there was a bunch of kids that assaulted me almost every mm. day at school. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. And the principal in the and I told a lot and I and and I'm, and the principal didn't do anything about it. Yeah, a lot of that. And then the complaints. Uh, parents went in, complained. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell my parents. He never um, also educated them with her. She, uh, he also has Asperger's and also is new to being transgender, and they were calling her lots of slur words oh geez and so she's been hospitalized three times for suicide this year oh good god and okay. diagnosed so, with ptsd now all right so uh jackson obviously your problem is that you didn't tell anybody yeah so yeah. they uh you can't ask them uh or accuse them of being irresponsible if they don't didn't know are you still in the same school or are you out of the school i'm out of the school okay yeah. um and you, you sound fine by the way uh but you, it's uh I would have never known. That's because you're here. You make her happy. Okay. Uh, happy. Yeah, I, I never would have known. <laughs> and, uh, and by the way, uh, just real quickly, why do you still go by the name of Jackson? Um, I was originally Lauren. Yeah. We met you two years ago at the Sleep Number store. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So the answer is probably not. If you're out of school and you yeah, didn't tell the authorities, and uh, <clears throat> did they know you were being bullied at all? Yeah. Well, okay. That's... Uh, it's changing, thank goodness. And unfortunately, uh, you're one of the transition uh, people. And I'm not talking about gender-wise. You're one of the transition that went from where people uh, who were bu bullied, uh, nothing was done about it, into now people are taking it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you're a lovely person, other than you play Pokemon, uh, <laughs> which I still don't understand. It's still understand popular God. today. Oh, please. Pokemon? <laughs> it is. I'm oh, not kidding. Good. They have leagues and championships. Good God. <laughs> you're a horrible mother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We still love you, though. I'm surprised that Jackson is still at home with you. <laughs> they haven't taken him away. All right. Uh, let's, let's go to another. We have time for one more. 
going on our website. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are going to see those. We've got a message, and I want people to see it. Did you make those yourself? It's very impressive. I saw the artwork. Especially the I'm Innocent as Hell. One lane is blocked there because the, uh, the Terminator one is also very strong. So that uh, causes delays as you approach. And if you're trying to get through the uh, right side there, we had this uh, Caltrans sweeper, sweeper there on the 60 freeway eastbound at the 215. Watch out for some delays there. You can find this guy. Helps get you there faster. I will pull it right. Sometimes you can't really see. We're coming to your house to rejuvenate your air conditioning. We do. All right, we walked back out to the main area. Grab yourself a little baggie of goodness in here. They're giving away free toothbrushes at the dental. Now they're giving out prizes all over the place. Alright guys, we are heading out, so thanks for watching. And as always fun to experience Bill Handel in a sarcastic it. ways. We got all the stuff. We got lots of goodies today. And but I don't think it's life. too much for us to do a haul. From him and another lawyer. You got are we some, doing a haul? You got some better advice from another lawyer. <laughs> are, we having, are, we getting, are we doing a haul? No, nah, I don't think so. Alright, bye guys. Thanks bye. for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.